That's right. Sorry, I forgot for a second. But Eric wants to play. Okay, 2802. Man, what is with Eric and these low, low ratings? Annoying. Um, all right, but yeah, let's let's play Eric a couple of games. Come on, Eric. Oh, Eric's not accepting yet, so let's see. <laughs> all right, I'm just waiting for Eric. Where Where is Eric? I took all his rating? No, I didn't, actually. I mean, I thought Eric was a little bit higher. He just got up. What? Oh, he's in the restroom? He's in the restroom? He's in the restroom. He's on the phone. All kinds of different things. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Okay, so E4. Let's play C6 and D5 again. Push about five, probably E6. He's, he's doing push-ups to boost his confidence. <laughs> um, all right, let's play H6, probably 97. 97, C5 maybe. Probably I'll play Bishop H7 at some point, maybe right here even. I'm probably going to play G5, maybe, or not. Probably G5, Bishop G7 is what I'll play here. Um, play A5, I guess. Yeah, let's just play A5. Force him to fix the structure here. Now I think I'll play Knight F5. Try to put pressure on d4. Will I lifong, Eric? I actually don't know what that means. I've, I've heard the phrase before, but I'm, I'm not super familiar with it. If you place g4, I just go knight h4 here. Um, uh, let's see. So he takes this way. I guess I'll take on d3. He'll take. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was just. Oh, that just slipped. That just slipped. Uh, that just slipped completely. I meant to go bishop h4. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, that was weird, um, but okay. Uh, okay, let's start over, knight f3, probably bishop c4, bishop b5 maybe. Um, uh, oh, let's just play in Italian. Just happened to me too. Uh, yeah, so um, anyway, you guys, yeah. Uh, <laughs> play c3, d3, I guess. Um, I'll play more Italians. I always get a bad start against Eric. Yeah, generally I don't actually. I mean, that was just a slip, though. That's that's not even a bad start. That's just a pure slip. Um, uh, but yeah. Anyway, whatever. So castle d five. I can take if d six. Okay, place a five. Okay, let's play bishop g five here. Bishop e seven. I think just rook e one is fine. If a d6, just knight d2. If h6, bishop h4, bishop g3, d4 is coming. Um, thank you, Swim19, for subscribing with Twitch Prime three months in a row. Do I have knight e5 here? No, because you can take d2. Okay, so let's go back to e3. Now I am threatening knight e5, I think. Or actually, I'm not, because you can take and play bishop g4, but it's not a big deal. I'll play h3, prevent knight g4. Uh, thank you, R. RRN, I think that's RRN or RRM Phillips for subscribing. Uh, okay, we should be five, hit the knight. Now let's pawn an e5 is weak. If d4, I can just trade. d4. Did I see some end, did I see that, see the rook end game? I heard about this rook end game. I didn't actually see it though. So one second, if I play bishop g5, he takes and plays knight a7, so I think I should just take knight d4. Okay, plays e4, wow. I was not expecting that. Um, just bishop a4, b5, I'll go bishop c2, or bishop b3. I'll go bishop c2. That's a4, I could play a3. I could also play like ideas of playing b4 at some point. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? I think I'll just play a3, and if c5, then I'll go b3. Try to blast the center again. Um, he'll probably take, I'll take back with the bishop. Knight c6, I think a4 is completely fine. Um, knight b4, just queen b1 looks good. Uh, I've always got knight e5 here, which is very important to protect the pawn on d3. So let's see what he's gonna do here. He can still take on a4, I guess. Now, I don't know which way I wanna take. I think I wanna take with the bishop. Uh, thank you, Moscatel87, for subscribing or resubbing three months in a row. Bishop d7. I could trade. I mean, I guess I'll trade. Oh, did I blunder knight d3 here? Ah. 
Uh, it's mm, it's bad. It's not terrible. The knight of four, bishop c4. Get a nice blockade. I've got the I've got the light square bishop. His bishop on e7 is not fabulous. Queen a8. I could trade and play knight e5. I guess. Oh, I should have played knight g5, not knight. Or no, I've got knight c6. Maybe it's still it's still not so clear as to whether black is really that much better. Black should be better because it's a pawn. But my knights are good. My bishop's good. I've got e5, f4 coming. Knight d7. Play rook b1 here. Take the b file. Okay, 7. Let's play f4. Idea to play f5. e5 is coming as well. Maybe even g4 here. Um, Let's see. e5. No, let's play g4. If g5, then I can play f5. I can even maybe take on e6 too. Thank you, Chess Bay, for gifting a sub to Mikloping. Um, now I think I will go e5. Now f5, f6 is a huge threat. What's this do? Bishop g5, we've got e6. Or rook f1. I mean, both look fine. Uh, let's see, which one makes more sense? I think rook f1 and knight d3 looks correct. If bishop d2, I take. If knight c4, I take. Oh, I just. Whoa, what am I doing? Wow, what am I doing? I'm just like going blind suddenly. Jeez. Again, it portends well for the tournament, as I was pointing out before. So, what am I doing? Whew, wow. Okay, let's see. This is probably just losing, I assume. D2, king, e2. Maybe bishop, e, c2 makes sense. Okay, I think I should take... I think I should just wait with the pawns. When he goes f4, okay. Ugh. Ah, too slow, too slow, too slow. Okay, let's get serious, too slow. All right, let's go. Too slow, too slow there. Just too slow at the end, especially. I could have I could have made a lot more moves quicker than that. All right, let's go. Let's go, dc5, bishop c5, um, takes. Bishop b3, just rook c8 and knight e7 is fine. Uh, let's play 97. Probably just castles. Or rook c8 is fine too. Bishop b5, just 97. Um, maybe just castles. Bishop h7, bishop e4 also looks fine. Just bishop g6, knight g6 is coming. Knight f5 also looks fine. Or even 97, 95. This looks pretty good too. Um, I'll just play rook a8, knight b5, knight c6. Should be fine. Bishop f4, I always have the e5. a4, I can play e5, I can move my queen. I think I'll just... Knight f5, bishop c5 is no good. So let's move the bishop back. Bishop f1, I think I'll play knight f5. Bishop c5, I'll play rook e8 now, and the bishop's on a much better square. f3, I can play e5, I can play rook c8. Um, I think I'll just play queen d7. More development. Maybe e5, d4. b4, maybe e5 is possible. I mean, I guess he wants to go a5. Is that his idea? Probably that's his idea. So let's play rook c8. Um, thank you, Netflix and Gaming, for uh, resubbing two months in a row. Queen d2. Okay, b6 is not a good move. Play h5. I can move my knight somewhere. I could also play like rook a6. Um, I think I'll play f6, maybe e5, bishop f7, something like this. It makes, makes some sense. Um, bishop b6, what's the threat? Okay, e5. Knight c7, I can just take. If a5, bishop f7, just to protect this pawn here. And I'm probably going to play d4 at some point not so in the not-so-distant future. d4 here looks possible. I don't love it, though. Um, 
Do I have other moves? I could play knight e7. I could move my knight to like e6. Yeah, let's go knight d8, knight e6, knight f4, knight g5. Something along these lines. And I'm keeping an eye on his knight as well on b5. g3. Okay, I'll play... Does knight e6 work here? Queen d5 takes and knight d4? I don't know if it actually does work. So I think I'll... Hmm. g3, knight e6, queen d5. Takes, takes, knight d4. d4, bishop d4. Um... Yeah, I think it works, because I've got bishop c4 at the end of this long line. That might happen. It might or might not. Rook d3, I go bishop c4. And now I'm hitting both the rook and the knight, and f3 is under attack as well. So I think this should be winning. Assuming I'm not missing anything obvious here, this should be winning. Uh, I have Vlad says, don't know much about the coming tournament. Does he have a chance of winning? I think I've got a pretty decent chance of winning. Uh, I've won this tournament four times, I believe. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I, I've, uh, I've done pretty decently in this tournament, but again, it's going to be, okay, knight c7. Okay, so I obviously take, I can take or just move the knight. Knight f3, knight e1, bishop f5, okay. Um, where do I want to put my knight is the next question. I think I want to put it on d6 here. Now, if knight e8, I just take. If he moves the king, I can just play like rook b8. And I'm up in exchange. It's still very messy, but I've got time. And I've got a pretty decent position. Um, I can play e4. I can play knight e8 also. Um, I can play rook d8 maybe. Yeah, let's play rook d8. c5, knight f7, I think is my plan. And now if bishop c4, I have rook d2. Rook e3. Uh, is rook d4 move? Okay, let's play e4. Takes knight e5. This looks like the correct way to play. Or rook d4, actually. Yeah, what about rook d4? Hitting the pawn on b4. And if h4, I can still play knight e5. And now my rook is active. So knight e5, hit the bishop. Should be 2. I think rook d2 makes sense. Knight c4 is a huge threat. Knight g4 is also a threat. I think knight g4 is probably better. Yeah, knight g4 looks correct. And now with the rook moves, he loses the, loses the bishop. <laughs> oh, are we taking suggestions on which game I'm doing for the master class? Yeah, I haven't actually picked a game yet. So, uh, rook d5, knight e3. This, this must be winning. Okay, he's got a nice bishop, big deal. Um, just take the pawn. Play rook c8. It's not so simple, though. Okay, so... Hmm, let's see. Play rook b2, knight c3 is always there. I should actually just make some moves. Why, why, why am I even thinking? Like rook d7. And just rook c7. Yeah, this, this should be winning. Like, I think I can throw in a check. Play rook a1, and knight c5. Okay, king f8. Hit the pawn, and now it's just winning. There's g5 trade. Um, I guess I'll take. All right, and that's gg. Oh, okay, that's that's one. That's a good. That's reasonable. Okay, nine nine more to go. Play d4, knight f3. Oh, I'll play knight c3. Try to play e4, bishop f4. h4, h5 ideas. Um, that's just queen d2, knight e5 coming. Oh, Eric's in the house, Eric Rosen. Um, all right, knight e7. I can play e4, I think that makes sense. E6, I don't like. I'll play E5 to kick the knight. Knight G, H5, knight H5. I think just bishop E3. And this knight's a little bit off sides here. F6, I can always play F4. F5 is always logical, but I think I'll still just play F4 and bishop E2. Uh, thank you, Rocky02, for resubbing two months in a row. So I'll castle, play knight A4. Bishop E2 is a move. Knight A4 looks good. Force the queen back and then play like bishop E2. Maybe C4. Maybe even just king B1. I, I, I really would like to attack here, but. I have to do it in the right order. So here I will play c4 because e6 is under attack after he takes. And now rook c1 is coming and I try to play on the c file as well. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I should go over the game against Magnus in 16, that I won in 16 moves. <laughs> that would be a little bit silly. Um, I don't think anyone's going to learn anything from that. So let's play Rook C1 at B5. I can just take. Threatening D5 and Bishop D5 maybe. Plays Knight B6. Now, can I actually play D5 here is a big question. I can definitely take. Can I play D5 or should I play... You know what? Let's play H5. So he can't take with the knights I take. Once he takes with the pawn, he forever loses ideas to go knight h5. Now he's got this really ugly knight. d5 is still possible. Um, let's let's run through the other options. But you know what? d5, no, d5 is no good. Um, okay, I guess I'll just play queen c2, queen b3, try to put pressure on e6. And now d5 and bishop b6 is a huge threat here, so this is pretty good. So yeah, it's a pretty ugly position for black here. B5 I can take or take on E6. Um, not really ideal. Okay, plays Rook D5, which is sort of a last gasp effort to try and keep something, something alive here. But he's got weak pawns everywhere. His pieces are not really ideally placed. If B5 I can always play A4. Um, play A4, Bishop D2 actually. I like Bishop D2 idea, Bishop B4, try to play against this bad knight. Now knight e6, I think I can just take knight d4, queen d3. This should just be winning. Queen f7, okay, queen h3 looks very nice to hit the f5 pawn of knight d4, just bishop c3 or bishop e3, and he can't protect the pawn on f5 anymore. Um, okay, I'll play bishop e3, hit the knight. If knight e2, just rook e1. If knight f3, I can just take knight e6, I just take f5. Okay, um, which way do I want to take? I think I'll take with the rook, actually. Queen e8, maybe just rook f6, hit the knight again. I mean, this is obviously losing for black, like, queen f5, bishop b7, rook f7. It's, I mean, this this is just over. Should be over. Um, I can also play e6 here. Idea to play bishop d4, bishop e5, bishop d6. I think just bishop d4, bishop e5 anyway doesn't make any difference. Um, Ova game Ova. Okay, h4, bishop b5 is possible, rook f7. Um, I don't see any reason why bishop e5 shouldn't just be good. Rook h5, I can just play rook g5. If he takes, I just take back with the queen. This looks like it should be winning. Okay, I also have rook g8, but I think rook g5 just looks very clean. Let's take... Oh, he's got queen h5 or something? Oh, that was stupid. Okay, let's play a3. If queen d1, king h2... Oh, but he's got b4 now? Ay ay ay. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. I just blundered for no reason. This still might be winning. Okay, let's let's go for this. I don't... If I took on b4, you draw with queen a4, queen d1. So, I think this is still probably winning. But... Okay, I'll throw in a check and play e7. Yeah, this is still probably this is still winning, but it's not not what I was hoping for at all. You can play like h3 maybe. Bishop d6. I could play. Well, I guess I just make the queen because I've got this pass pawn here. I don't care about a b2. I just make a queen. All right, two down, eight to go, eight to go. Right? Yep, eight to go. Um, all right, let's keep playing the center counter, or not the center counter, sorry, let's keep playing the Karl Khan. Um, E6, uh, let's see, which one do I want to play? I'll still play H6 here. I'll play G5, I'll play an early G5, Knight G6 line here. Um, probably Knight G6, yeah, already let's just play Knight G6. Am I Polyze Funk says, uh, hi Hikaru, thanks for the stream. Uh, very welcome, Polyze, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Um, h3 is not really a threat as far as I can tell. So I think I can just play queen c7 because g4, I go bishop e4. You know, actually, it's funny since since you guys are talking about Eric leading. He's actually started out really well against me on multiple, actually, multiple occasions. It's not just like a one-time thing. He started out very well on like many occasions. Um, but yeah, well, the first game was a mouse slip. Knight h2, what's this? He wants to go f3 or something? But this isn't good because I can go bishop e4. I think this is supposed to be good for black. I take and I go queen g3 and bishop d6. And 
And now I hit the knight on e h2, and this is pretty close to gg again. Um, yeah, this is just losing, I think. If I'm not, yeah, I'm not missing anything. This is just losing. Um, all right, seven to go. Let's uh, let's keep let's go back to e4 this game. Knight b3, probably just castles. Play a4, a5, bishop e3. Um, let's still go knight d2, maybe knight c4. Yeah, knight c4, d5, you can play knight b6. Uh, if knight d7, I'll still probably play knight b6 and f4. Okay, plays that, which is surprising. Kind of surprising. I've got f4 here. Knight g4, I can just move my bishop away because the knight covers c5. And now I get the open c file as well. Um, this should be really, really bad for black. d4, d5, maybe. Doesn't look like quite right. So I'll play knight d4 and put more pressure on this bishop. Um, I could take and play queen a4. That's one option. I could also take on d5. e5, knight d7 does not look right. Um, queen a4 is interesting too. A lot of interesting moves here, but I think I'm just going to take and play queen a4. Hit the pawn on c c6 of c5. I think I can play e5 even. I can also play b4. Um, I can even play d4. Wow. Uh, let's just play e5. Knight g4, I'll go bishop d2. And he'll probably sack, I would assume, but maybe not. Probably he'll sack. So I'll pre-move it just in case he does. If he doesn't, the move won't happen. Um, uh, so yeah, c4, I can play d4. If I play h3, what's going on? h3, bishop c5, king h1, knight f2. Okay, and that's bad. If I play d4, if he takes, I just take back and go bishop c3. This looks great for me. <laughs> uh, cd5 was also possible, but I mean, this this should be fine. Bishop c5, wow. So he wants to give up two pieces? Uh, this doesn't look right. This just does not look right to me optically. I mean, there's no way that with this strong knight on b6 that he's got enough compensation with these pawns and the rook. Um, like queen one looks fine, b3 maybe at some point, but I think queen one should be good. Um, queen d4, I could play bishop e3, I could play b3 maybe. Um, let's see, how do I get the blockade though? The ideal blockade I want here. So I'm gonna play rook c3, to, so he can't do this now. Rook g3 is an idea to put pressure over here. I mean, queen c5, so he wants to take or play d4. So now, let's see, I can move my rook to c2 maybe? or I mean, rook g3 looks like the most obvious way to play, but I don't know if it actually wins. That's the problem. But you know what, let's just go for it. I'm not worried. If he wants to play d4, I can always play f5, e6. Um, amongst other options too. I can also just play, yeah, let's just play h4. c3 is not a threat. d3 doesesn't bother me. If he takes, I don't care. I just take and go bishop a5 at the end. I mean, he, he can't really create a pass pawn here, so I should just create some space, create some attacks, and eventually I'm gonna go f5, e6, or f5 with bishop h6 and something along those lines. And h4 also creates a square for my king, which is important too. So king h8, okay, let's play h5, try to force him to play h6. Now I can play f5 here. I mean, even bishop b4, bishop e7 looks amazingly good. Um, but you know what, let's, maybe queen c1. Now I do threaten f5 here and bishop h6 maybe. I don't really see how he's protecting this pawn here on c4, so okay, so c3. Oh, but he's got queen a5, oh, whoops. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Just completely blundered for no reason. Um, wow, that was really, really bad. What was, what on earth was that? Okay, fine, I'll take and go f5. Um, for some reason, I just didn't see queen a5, queen a2. Okay, he's gonna take, obviously. I'm gonna play f5 to go bishop takes h6. Now I go bishop f4 to hit the queen. He has queen f5 still, I guess, but I can take the rook. Oh, but he just takes back. He's got rook b1 at the end. Oh, jeez. 
Ay, ay, ay. Let's play rook h3. Um, okay, I mean, don't have anything better than just making a draw here. And I'm lucky that I have a draw at that. I'm very lucky. Um, okay, queen b5. Okay, do I have, like... No, I mean, I don't even have a draw here, probably. Yeah, that's not shocking. I sh why, why should there be a draw here? Okay, maybe queen g6. Oh, he played queen e5. I thought he was going to go queen g5, yeah. That was so bad. That was just completely winning. Yeah, that was really, really bad. Very, very bad. That was a very, very bad game. All right, let's go again. Yeah, that was a terrible, terrible game. That was really, really bad. Okay, let's play e5. He takes, I'll take back. Um, f4, I think just knight c6 and knight g8 is still kind of bad, but not just lost. Um... Second. Come on. All right, so knight f3, um, play bishop b4 here. Um, I think d6 is fine. d5 maybe? Or knight h6. I guess I'll just play d6. This might already just be really, really bad. Um, Eric's playing okay. I wouldn't say he's playing well because he was completely busted in that last game. So playing well is a bit of a stretch. But but yeah, I mean I'm I'm not playing great. Which, as I said before, the stream is probably a good thing because the worse I play online before a tournament, generally the better I play over the board. So it's not such a big deal. I mean, I guess I can take and maybe I castle. Maybe I just trade everything. Knight d5, throw on a check. King h1, I think. I will castle and play bishop g4 next move, probably. Um, that sounds odd. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds odd. No, it is a little bit strange to, that like you can play better online or play better over the board after you play uh, you play online. But that, generally, I found that to be fairly true in my case. Now, I guess bishop d4 makes sense. I don't know if it's necessary, but I like it. Maybe I'll play e, d, e5 and e4. Hmm. Oh, why not? Let's see. So if he takes, I can just take back and then put a bishop on g7 at the end. Okay, so I think I can take on e5. I can also take on f3 maybe and play knight g4. What is going on here? Okay, slow down. Take a deep breath. Um... Yeah, I think I'll just take. He'll probably take on h6 and play like h3 at some point, like maybe right here even. But I think now I can go bishop g7, and now I think my king is pretty safe here with king h8 coming up next move. And I can maybe even put the bishop on g6 if I need to. It doesn't OTB prep take you out of blitz mindset. A little bit, yeah, not completely, but a little bit. So I'll take and play knight e5, knight g6. I mean, he's going to take with the rook, I would assume. I mean, he can take with the pawn, I guess, but it doesn't really make much sense. Okay, knight e5, hit the rook, hit the bishop. Rook g3, probably, then knight g6. How come Eric Hansen can crush MVL, but he always loses against you? I mean, I think Maxi maybe was playing with a touchpad mouse. That's what I heard, at least. Um, but beyond that, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. It seemed like Maxim did not have his best game. And Maxim hasn't really played while streaming. He hasn't played that much, so it's not surprising um, that he would... Okay, I could play c6 here in knight e5. I could also just move my king. Queen h4, maybe. Uh, queen h4, rook g4. Okay, c6, knight f4. What's going on here? So he plays knight f4, and I go king h8. And now there are no, no tricks with, like, knight g6, h6, rook g6, because the king's not on g8, knight h5. I think I can play bishop e5 to hit the rook here. If rook d1, queen h4. If rook h3, I take. If rook g4, I take the knight. This should, or no, rook g4 is just made on h2, sorry. Um, <laughs> Anna Chess never never sleeps. She only she only chess dreams. 
Oh, is Anna Chess? I didn't see Anna Chess. Oh, is Anna Chess here in the uh, chat? Hey, Anna. I hope you're having a good evening. And I think Anna's at Tata, so she should she should be in, in Viacom. Say, hey, Anna, how's it going? All these cool emotes I've got. Wow, Anna, quite the maestro with the uh, emotes. Um, Bishop E2, I can take on G3, I guess. Why not? Does he have some... No, he has no Rook D4 trick. He takes with the knight. Now I'll try to exchange the rooks first. So I offer to trade these rooks. Um, that's number one. Now I could play f5. I'll play f5 here. It's probably not necessary, but I just want to open up the f files. So no, no, no real mating threats anymore. Knight h4 is a huge threat. Also, uh, I think I'll play knight h4 here. And this is just winning. Knight f5. I can trade queens. I can even play. Let's play precise chess. Let's play rook f5. Let's just play precise. Um, I am playing classical event, so I, I'm going to try to be generally precise. Okay, so that's. That's one. So, knight f3, probably bishop g5, maybe knight d2, maybe knight c3. I'll play knight c3. Idea to play e4, e3, bishop d3. Not a very exciting opening. Um, Anna Chess says, huge thanks, Ikaru, for the sub, for the gift sub. Yeah, I did act. You're very welcome, Anna. I did gift Anna a sub when she was, uh, when she was streaming the PCL earlier with Robert Hess. So you're very welcome, Anna. Chess is an accurate description of what Levy does. Wait, so what Levy does? Are you saying that I'm not playing chess? <laughs> um, which way do I want to take here? They're both logical. CD4 allows queen a5, maybe? I think I'll take with the e-pawn. Probably because he has to play something like f5 and then bishop c4. And he can't castle. Something like this makes sense. So he plays h6. Okay, that's fine. Uh, bishop f4 is possible. Just bishop e3 looks fine. If f5, just bishop c4. Okay, I'll take f5. I've got knight c5. What is this? What are you doing, Eric? What are you doing? Bishop d2, if e5. I can always just... Wait, what is Eric doing in this game? Now, now I'm really confused by his play. Um, let's go bishop d3. Hit the pawn on g6. If g5, I can check. Queen h5 is pretty creatively funny. Let's play queen c2, though. Hit the pawn on g6 again. If queen d6, I always have knight e4. Or I can take and go knight e6. Ah, but knight e6, he's got queen d5, knight some queen g2 castles takes. Hmm. So what? Who cares? Let's just go knight g7 next move. Or knight f4, maybe. Knight f4 is also playable. But I think I'll just take... And, I mean, he's got to take or take. If he takes, I can just castle long anyway, so I'm not concerned. Um, although I could have... Knight of four was maybe... More, knight of four was more precise. This is this is still good, but this wasn't precise. C4 and bishop c3 is a huge threat now with the king on g7. So now... He, so we're actually playing exactly what could have, should have happened, but in the other order. So I think I will just take and play rook g1. If f3, I can just take and go rook g1. Okay, takes. I mean, this is just technically winning for white now. Um, very, very ugly position for black. Let's play rook e1. Keep this pawn as a backward pawn. d5 is always a threat to remove the defender. So you can't move the rook off. Rook e6. I mean, all the, all the squares are open here. Uh, Severian123 says, always love watching Ronnie, too. Who is Ronnie? Are you talking about Ronnie the Rocket or some other Ronnie? I don't know which Ronnie you're talking about. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm playing uh, Vaso Blesic from Serbia tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know who he is, obviously, but um, he, is an, he is an IM, so he is a... Is he an IM or is he an FM? No, I wasn't actually sure what, what his title is. Play H4 and plop a bishop on G5. Maybe rook H6, rook H5. Knock it. Why so many arrows? Why so many arrows, dude? Okay, I just take, take, and make a queen. Because the bishop covers B8. All right, next game. But again, everyone, like, these days especially, like, everyone's pretty decent up. Um, that's two in a row, right? That should be two. Everyone above, like, 2300 is pretty pretty well versed these days and they tend to be pretty good at tactics so it's never a walk in the park all castle maybe bishop g4 maybe knight c6 uh 
Play B6. <laughs> if you think the arrows are bad, imagine what he sees in his head. Um, <laughs> um, uh, or 3, Igor says you didn't make preparations for the game. The game is at 3 o'clock tomorrow, so there's plenty of time. And after, after I stop streaming tonight, I will be... Uh, looking at what he plays. So, yeah, I, I will be looking. Make no mistake about that. Play e6 here. I can play rook e8. I think e6 looks fine. I mean, I don't know. Is he going to play d4? Oh, maybe I had some bishop f3 idea there. Not sure. At any rate, the game. The show must go on. Um, so I play e6 here. I don't Maybe he's looking at sacking. Or he's going to play knight e5. Okay, logical. h6 is possible. I don't know. Is he going to... Mm, let's play knight c oh knight c6 takes i don't see it so if knight f7 i just go rook f7 if rook d1 i can play knight d4 and c5 maybe i should have played h6 first that i queen d4 ah, i should play h6 first probably but uh not so clear He's probably watching the stream right now. <laughs> I don't think Eric does that, John Rule. That would be fairly surprising. Knight f7. Okay, so I can play rook f7. Well, I think I have to play rook f7. Oh, did I just miss something here? No, queen... Let's see. Okay, one second. Let's see. Did I just miss something here? Oh, I might just be losing. Maybe I just blundered here. Um... Oh. What? No, but I've got queen e7. No, oh, sorry, no, queen e7 is no good. What am I thinking? Whoa. Wow. Um. I guess queen d7. No, I just blundered. I just blundered here. I just blundered. Um. Yeah, I just blundered completely. Knight a5, hit the bishop. But, I mean, he can probably take... Well, maybe I get b2. Maybe it's not so simple. It's probably bad, but it's maybe not just outright losing. Okay, so I take... Okay, he plays b3. Maybe knight... a3. Hit the pawn on c2 here. And now he has to move the bishop somewhere. Uh, he goes to e5. So I guess I will take and go knight b4 here. Idea to play knight d3, hitting the rook. This rook on e6 is a little bit loose here as well. Um, sorry about the sounds, you guys. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what he does here. <laughs> yeah, that was WhatsApp. Sorry, you guys. Yeah, that was WhatsApp. Uh, someone just sent me a message, so I just had to close it down. Okay, so f4, I play knight d3. I can also play like knight d5 maybe. I'd really like to play bishop c8 somehow. Um, how do I get bishop c8 to make it work though? Wait, knight d wait, what about knight d3? Yeah, what about knight d3? Because if rook d1, I can just play knight f4. And if he has to go to f1, then then maybe I can do something at least. Like, I'll play rook f8. Now I put pressure on the pawn again. And the bishop as well. Like, er everything's kind of... And now don't I have bishop... Ah, bishop c8 still doesn't work. He's got rook c6. Wow. Okay, and g5 maybe? Yeah, let's go g5. Try to Try to blast it. It's not really clear what's going on here exactly. Um, I mean, he's okay, d5, but now bishop c8 to hit the rook. When the rook moves off, I take the knight, or the bishop, I mean. Um, maybe I should play gf4 first. I should play gf4 first, probably. Oh, this is probably still quite good. Okay, if I take, he takes. If I play knight e5, rook e5, gf4. Ah, uh, let's just go for it. g5. g4, I can play h6. I'm way up on the clock, which is also important. Um, I can play h6 and rook g7, maybe? I can also play... I don't want to play f3. I think I'll play bishop h3 here. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I can take on, take on uh, g3. Yeah, yeah, this is good. He just resigns. Okay, cool. Three in a row, three in a row. Let's keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Okay, let's play a Trompowski. Um, E3. Probably like C5 or something. Uh, maybe Knight D2. Guess I'll take and play Knight F3. Mm, just take with the Knight. 
with bishop d3 seems fine h6 just bishop h4 bishop g3 or even just castles i can play c4 even c3 and queen c2 looks fine um I could play bishop e4 maybe. Mm, no, I'll just take and play like queen c2. Hit the hit the knight again. Play like rook e1, maybe c4. Yeah, why not? Let's just play c4. Bishop f5. I think rook d one looks logical. Play knight d4 next move. Hit the bishop on f5. I could go back to c2. I could also play like rook. I think I'll just play rook e1 here. Protect everything. Keep everything very solid and compact. So what turn am I playing tomorrow? I'll be playing in the uh, Gibraltar Chess Festival. It starts tomorrow at 3 p.m. local, which I believe should be 9 a.m. Eastern, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe it will be on it. There will it will be on a channel. I don't know which one, but it will be on a channel being streamed. So um, let's see. Okay, Queen C2 is definitely a move. Uh, Queen C2 and Knight F3 seems logical enough. Eric says he's playing poorly. Oh, did I just blunder something too? Knight f3 has got queen f2 or something. I knew it felt wrong. I could just feel that it was somehow it was some kind of a blunder, but I couldn't help myself. Um, g3. Through queen f6. Knight b5, take 6. Okay, let's just play knight f3. Okay, see so it, of course. Um, Bishop d3, I think e4, e5 maybe is still okay. I'm obviously worse. I'm down a pawn in some trouble here. Um, play rook e3. I could play just e5. I don't like e5. So I guess I will play a3 here. Thank you, uh, Mondinor, for subscribing. Maybe b4, maybe rook d2. Um, e5, I guess, is possible. I don't really like it. Um... Maybe even b4. Not a very attractive position, so I should just play some moves. Um, I do to mess it up. Let's play knight h4. And g6, maybe I'll just go back. Eh, we'll see. But I'm down on the clock. Like, I'm just moving too slowly. Like I, Once I get the bad position, like in this game, I really should just start like blitzing every move. Uh, bishop c2, I could play like rook d2, I guess. I, could... I guess I'll just take. If bishop d1, just like rook e3, takes, I can just take with the king. And then play b4, maybe. I mean, it's obviously bad. Maybe it's not completely lost. Bishop a4. Play b4, try to exchange more pawns. c4, there's rook c3, maybe even knight e5, actually. Yeah, this is what I should be doing. I should just be moving really, really fast here. I'm not moving fast enough. Um, thank you, Stal Memi Emporium, for subscribing with a tier one sub. I'll take knight e5, hit the bishop, rook f3 is coming. Should be eight. Well, I guess I'll go rook a3. I don't know if it's good. King e3. I'll take, I'll take back on a7. Like rook, I might be able to draw this now. I, I might be able to draw this. This, this might be bad for... Let's go knight g4, hit the pawn in h6. King g7, e5, e6 is a threat now. Okay, knight f6, hit the bishop. Um, What makes sense here? Rook c7, maybe? And now maybe king d4. Yeah, okay, let's go king d4. Um, e5, protect the knight. Maybe uh, rook a7. So I've got 98 tricks now. And now I'm up on the clock again. So like... Fix the pawns, of course. 
And now it's going to be... I went to the wrong square. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I went to the wrong freaking square. But I've got King G5, maybe? You lose, Attic. You lose. You lose, Attic. You lose. You lose. All right. That's four in a row. Four in a row. Six more to go. An IT6 trade. Okay. He wants. Uh, I, I remembered Eric's going to play this one to make the draw. I forgot that Eric likes to play this way. When he's down in the match, he plays this uh, very adrage setup. I guess rookie eight probably trade takes. <laughs> Did I get a better camera? No, not really. It's it's the same as it always is. Play knight d six, bishop g four, bishop f five. Knight e four is also playable. Uh, queen c two. I can play bishop g four here. I think bishop f five is supposed to be completely fine as well, just like rook c eight. Knight h four doesn't really concern me. I think even bishop e six here is fine. Just takes. Oh, but he's got... No, but f3, I can just play knight f6. Or queen e7 as well. So rook b1. Uh, maybe queen e7. Hit the knight. Hit the pawn. Alright, so knight f3. If I play queen a3, what's going on? If I play queen a3, he goes rook b7, I guess, and like knight c3 or something. Even rook c8 is probably okay, but... Hmm. Not really what I was hoping for, but it's probably not horrible. Rook b3, uh, queen a5 is fine, even queen e7. I don't like queen e7 so much. Maybe queen a4, maybe just queen f8 even. Queen f8 just takes and then the rook's hanging on b3, so queen f8 looks reasonable. Um, bishop a6, I could play rook b8. I could also just play like rook e8, I guess. And if bishop b5, just bishop d7. Okay, so he takes. Okay, I'll play bishop f5 to hit the queen with some kind of knight, knight f5, knight d6 tricks. So if he goes back, I've got rook c8, and knight b4. So it's looking pretty good. Queen c1. Um, okay, I can play queen e7 here. I can play like rook e6. There's no way to really attack. Now let's just go queen e7 then. Hit the bishop. Bishop g3. Maybe knight a5. Maybe just queen f6 actually. Try to put pressure on this bishop. Bishop b5. Just rook c8. Try to put pressure on the c3 pawn with like knight a5 or knight d4. So it goes queen f4. I've got g5 here hitting the queen. I'm like knight a f Ah, but maybe knight a5 first was better. Knight a5 first was much, much better. Why did I play g5? Oh, that was so stupid. But whatever, knight a5. Okay, let's see. So queen b6, hit the bishop. Idea is to play like knight c4. Maybe even queen... No, queen b1 hangs something. So knight c4, he'll take. I'll take back. Queen b2 is a huge threat. Uh, can I play rook? No, rook c3, he just takes. If I play queen a5, he just takes. Okay, whatever. Let's just go for it. I don't have time. I'm down on the clock. I need to go for something here. So, okay, rook c3 is an idea. Queen a2 is an idea. So let's see what he has. I think I'm doing okay here. So 
But um, yeah, I mean, I probably am going to stop though. I'll play. I, I don't think I'm even going to get close to ten. I'll probably stop in a couple of games. He plays rook b8. Okay. Uh, bishop e5. What's this do? F6. Knight g5. Just rook c3. B7. Okay, I can play king f8 even. Bishop f6. Just rook c3, and I think I'm winning. Okay, wait. So okay, so if I play queen c3, first of all, what's going on? In queen c3. That's question number one. I don't see it. I can go king g8 or e8. I guess e8 makes more sense. Okay. Oh, I gave him that check, whoops. Now I just trade, now I just take the knight, or the bishop, and now it's over. All right, that's five in a row, right? I think I'm gonna play like two more probably, and then I'm gonna call it call it a night, because I'm actually getting kind of tired and I still have to look uh, for tomorrow. So I think I'll play two more games, you guys, and then I'll finish with a puzzle rush. Let's play, okay, queen d2. Rook c1, probably trade. Play d5 and c4 here. <laughs> One puzzle rush, yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I actually can't really afford to just waste all the time in the world doing. Um, okay, I could play like no a3 makes no sense. Knight b3 is possible. What's wrong with bishop d3, bishop b1? I don't even understand. b6, okay, I'll just castle. Knight b4, I always have bishop b1. f5, is there a threat? I have bishop g5 maybe to hit the rook. Um, I can play rook e1. Oh, let's play rook e1. If f4, just knight e4, ed5, I can take f5 or d5. h6, I could play a very interesting p sack here. You know what, let's play the piece sack. He's gonna take, I'm gonna take e6, and I'm gonna say that I'm getting a ton of material here. Oh, he takes back on f5. Wow, I did not expect that, however. Um, thank you, Deconstructive, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um, oh, I, for some reason I didn't, I just forgot that he could actually take back. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit ugly then. Okay, e5, I'll play f4. Probably I'll play e4, bishop b1. It's a little bit ugly. E4, bishop b1. Bishop b7, I can play a3. Knight f1, knight g3 is another idea that I kind of like here to put pressure on this pawn, maybe. Ideally, I'd like to get a knight to e3 and a bishop to c3, but his bishop has a d4 square, so that's never going to happen. Knight g3, put pressure on the pawn. Could try to reroute the bishop, doesn't quite work. Um, h4 is. Don't really like h4. Uh, let's see, how do I re... Okay, let's go a3, because I can go rook a2 here at the end. Um, oh. That's just a blunder. He's got bishop b4. I forgot that he had bishop b4. Maybe d6 here. Um, h4 doesn't look right. Knight f5 doesn't look right. Okay, whatever. Let's just develop the bishop. Try to put the bishop on h5 if I can. Maybe rook b1, bishop d1, bishop h5 is one idea. Knight e2 maybe. d8. So he's going to try to put his knight back. On d6, I guess this is a very serious problem. So let's see, what can I do about it? Okay, I'll play bishop f2 and knight e3, maybe. Still, I have bishop e1 at some point, and it's probably still playable. h5. Okay, now I'll go bishop e1, try to exchange the bishops. 
Plays b5, interesting. Okay, I'll take. Hopefully bishop h4, hit the rook. Now I'm going to go h3, g4, without a doubt. And then I select like the move or two, like right here, in fact. Oh, but I gave him knight c4. Maybe you won't see it, though. Uh, thank you, Penguin GM, for raiding with a party of 132. Actually, I've got Bishop A4 here. So I can take and go Knight E5. If he takes, I take back. And now if he takes, I get Bishop C6. What? Okay, takes. I mean, of course, it still is nothing to write home about, but uh, he's got Knight C3, so I have to be very careful here. Maybe just, uh, no, Rook D1's no good, though. Let's put Bishop E1. Try to exchange this Bishop. It's a very good piece here for Black. And we'll see. I mean, king f6. Okay, but on king f6, I could always play g4. I can always... I'm not going to take, obviously. Um, uh, come on, come on. you got to move. Okay, let's go king f1. d6. Uh, what does rook d6 threaten? If I take... No, I can't really take. So maybe just g3. h4. I guess I'll play g4 now. Because now I've got bishop h4 at the end as well. If he takes, I can just take, and then e5 hangs. Um, okay, I'll take. Takes. Okay, bishop h2. Oh, I found e3. That's a very, very good move. Um, or maybe maybe I can just go g5. G Actually, no, it's not a good move. I can just take and go g6. I'm like... King e2, and I've got rook f1 and rook g1. No, no, he's misplayed this, because now I can go rook a1. Uh, that takes, and I take the rook, and that's gg -O. All right, that's six in a row. All right, so this is going to be the last game, you guys, and then I'm going to... Uh, then I'm probably just going to do a quick puzzle rush, and uh, then I'll probably go study some. So, right, g6, bishop g7. Mm, do I want to? Yeah, let's play h6. Let's do something a little bit weird this game. Okay, knight c6. It's just e6. Queen d2, king h7, maybe g5. I assume queen d3 was actually a mouse slip, but maybe I'm wrong. Do you mean to go d3 or queen d2? If d5, I've got knight b4, knight e7. Bishop h2, a6 looks fine. I can always play knight f5 here if I want to. King h7 is always possible. Even knight d5 looks good. <laughs> knight e2. Um, knight d7, knight h5 also looks interesting. Yeah, let's play knight h5. If g4, I'll just go back. Um, and I'm trying to eye the square on f4 with everything here. Goes bishop a2. I guess he wants to play c4. So, um, I could play queen g5 maybe. Yeah, let's try it. I'm gonna go for some kind of weird knight f4, queen g2 idea. Um, his king is very open here on g1. I've also got threats like knight b4 and then win, win the pawn g2. Thank you, Romero Cesar, for, for resubbing three months in a row. Warm up before jib. Yep, that's what this is. Exactly what this is. Okay, so I'll just go back to d8. C4, now I'll bring the knight back to E7. Play knight C6, maybe? Yeah, yeah, let's play knight C6. Trade, I'll take. Queen E3, I can play queen G5, maybe. Uh, you know, let's just keep shuffling. I'm just going to go back, play knight F5. And now he's created a big weakness here as well. So, like, if he doesn't create something really fast, he's going to have big problems on this long diagonal. Okay, I could play, well, I don't really want to play g5, but let, let's let's play it. I, I don't love g5. No, I'll play b5, try to get the square for my knight. Um, I could take, I could also play like knight d7. Yeah, let's play knight d7. Maybe I'll play f5 somewhere because his bishop is closed. This diagonal isn't really open anymore for white. So, I uh, like bishop b1, maybe f5 here. Eh, let's try it. It might be bad, but let's try it. Why not? Um... And now it's kind of like getting very, very messy. It's not really clear what's happening. 
Um, so yeah, so this is gonna be the last game, you guys, and then I'm gonna do a puzzle rush and uh, and then just study for tomorrow. So um, that's probably gonna this more or less something along these lines will be my plan in general during the event. And um, probably I won't be p be playing. Uh, I'll probably be more like Q and A and reviewing games, but something like that is going to be the plan. So, okay, so he plays d five. I can play f four. What's ah? He wants to go queen d three and queen h seven. Wow. Um, I could also just take. Again, what is going on here? Um, so d five. So if I take, he's got what knight d four. F four takes takes rook h eight. Wow, this is wild. So let's see, so I play f4, he plays queen d3. Knight e5, queen h7, king f7 takes, king e6, or king e8. Um, or king f6, wow. Eh, let's see, I, I'm not sure what's going on here. So I'm gonna play f4, I'll take. Oh, he plays knight f4. I thought he was gonna play d e6. What doesn't... Okay, so I mean, I assume I throw in a check. Um, whoa, what's going on here? Wow, this is really wild. I've got GF4 here, maybe. Yeah, let's play GF4. What is going on here? Because if rook e6, I can play knight g5, hitting the rook and, and the queen at the same time. If he takes, I can go king f6, because then knight g5, again, is a discovered check on the king. Um, I'm also threatening rook h8 here, so this is very, very wild. Um, so we'll see what Eric comes up with, because I don't, right off, I don't see uh, a knockout blow for white. There probably is some some knockout blow, but I don't see it right off, so... Um, we'll see. Okay, so he does take, so I go king f6. Now, rook d8, I do have knight g5 hitting the queen because it's a discovered check. I can also just take the queen. Um, thank you, Next Futures uh, C, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. And I think I might just, well, I mean, I'm going to win the game because Eric's got no time. <laughs> Okay, so he plays bishop e4, but again, I think I can play knight g5 here. Um, I can play just rook d8, I think. And his queen is trapped. He can't go to either square. This knight covers everything. A resigns. All right, you guys. So I think uh, on that note, um, I think I'm going to finish up with one puzzle rush quickly. Um, and then that's that's just going to be it for the night because it's, it's getting a little bit late. And I'm going to need to start studying. So um, I was winning by evaluation the whole game. Okay, well, that's good to know. So, all right, let's do a puzzle rush. Um, checkmate. Uh, just checkmate. Checkmate. Check er, oh, 94 is mate in one. What was that? It might be more, it might be two puzzle rushes if I'm going to get, like, the fifth problem wrong. <laughs> um, checkmate. Takes, okay. Uh, takes. Check and mate. Uh, take the rook. Take the pawn, take the queen. I guess rook g1 and king g1, that looks good. Um, free knight. Takes and mate. C5 takes. Check and take the queen. G6, and I guess just g7 looks good. Rook a1. Knight e4. Check and mate. Um, I guess just takes an e5. Check and take the rook. Queen h7 looks good. Uh, wait a second. No, it's got to be bishop d5 trade and mate. Okay, knight b6. Just takes an knight e2 maybe? Yeah, okay. Knight d4, knight b3. Uh, b4. <sighs> I mean, queen f2 is good, knight f2 is good, G uh, it's just got to be takes, okay. Um, uh, d3 and takes, and take the bishop. Um, wait, what? Uh, check and... D4. What? 
Okay, one more, you guys. That was really bad. One more. One more. Just... I don't even know what that was. Just, like, going terribly blind. Alright. Um, check and mate. Check and mate. Check and takes. Check mate. Check. Check and mate. Takes. I'm gonna hope that's the worst, uh, worst on-stream, uh, on-stream, uh, result that I ever have at Puzzle Rush, because that was really quite terrible. Um, okay, check and take the rook. I guess queen d5, okay. Um, I don't know, bishop g6 and check, okay. Knight d5, take the queen. Uh, check and mate. Uh, check and mate. Check and mate. Check and mate. Just take the knight. Uh, check, take the queen, that's mate. Mm. Wait, are there any other tr what am I no ah uh, because you've got knight e2 that's one yeah okay um 85 queen e8 knight a6 maybe yeah okay uh check check and <laughs> I mean I guess knight d7 okay um just check and queen g4 looks good knight b6 knight f6 what uh thank you El Coin for gifting a sub to Trika set that's checkmate. Um, King of eight, and yeah, just takes. Okay, that's good. Uh, knight of seven looks pretty good. Just takes and rook d eight. Uh, queen d four maybe. Queen b two and takes. Okay, that looks good. Um, knight a seven and take the knight. That looks good also. Takes. Just, I mean, I. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, this takes, okay, that's good. This takes 94. Uh, thank you, Simmerine, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Uh, what is G4? Just check and I guess takes, okay. Um, Rook H7 is no good. Queen E7 is no good. Uh, maybe Queen E7, King H3 actually works. Okay, I just take. Um, uh, I guess takes, takes, check and take the knight. Um, rook h5, no, bishop g6, or dd5? Yeah, I have no idea on that one. That's just a hard one. Check, takes, knight of three takes. Um, knight of five looks very good. Let's mate. Okay, rook g6, rook f6, yeah. And takes, and rook f1, takes, takes. Check and mate. Uh, knight g3, no, probably just takes and take and take and check and takes. Um, well, queen e5 is an obvious move. The knight e2 and takes, check takes. Rook b1 and rook h1. Uh, queen e7 is possible. Queen, queen e8 looks right. Yeah, check, check, and mate. Um, bishop f1, no, rook g3. Uh, what? Rook g3, queen h1. What? Knight g5, queen h4. Uh... Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? Maybe, it's just this? Okay, I wasted so much time on that, that was so stupid. So stupid. Bishop f1's, I mean, it's gotta be rook f1, and now, like, queen f7 takes bishop g5, check and make a queen. Um, queen c3, king e Two and check and take, okay. Um, rook g1 looks good. I don't know, take? What? Oh, it's c3? What? It's absurd. Um, okay. Uh, um, wait a second. 97, bishop e7. C5. Mate, okay. Um, I mean, uh, oh, it's Bishop E4. Oh, 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 so bad. All right, you guys. Well, that was not a good way to finish, but 46 is still fairly decent. Um, yeah, 46 is still a decent.